Да? Okay, so just to be clear on this one, so broadcast section for immediate release, and Jeremy will kick us off, we'll go to Christian afterwards and a couple of others, George, Christian, and then we'll turn the cameras off and we'll do a written piece for tonight at 10.30, okay? No talking, Christian, okay? <laughs> we, we like, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy. Okay, perfecto. Uh, Javier, um, hello. Um, Hi. You're going back to Old Trafford, you had some great memories there. Yes. What's it going to be like working out in the West Ham show on Sunday? Happy, very happy, very glad. Uh, the best way to come back to a Premier League, not to come back to a country that opened you uh, your first chapter in Europe, no? In my first four years in Europe. So, yeah, it's going to be the, the best way to start this Premier League, but obviously we get a good result over there because uh, that's the, the main goal in my mind and the main thing for everybody here in this club, no? To try to go there and get a very good and a very important result. How's your match fitness? Are you ready to start? Are you fit to start this match? I feel I'm ready. Yeah, I'm 100% uh, fit. I've been training pretty well with, with with the lads, and then and then that's a decision. The decision that concerns to to my manager, to my boss, no. And but the only thing that I can say that I'm ready. And if he decided uh, that I, that I will start, I will be very happy, very glad. I'm ready. You're coming back to the Premier League at the age of 29. Are you coming back a better striker than you left? I don't know. That's something that uh, even that I can describe you. If I'm the best striker in the world or I'm the worst striker in the world, that's something that I need to to prove inside the pitch. You know, that's the only way that we can uh, speak. That, that that's the way that I like to speak. You no, know, over there inside, and then I will I will try to show if I'm in a better uh, way to play or not. You no, know? and then in in May we can we can see how how my season went, and then we we can we can answer that that question because the only thing. In my mind here is to is to obey, to try to put inside the pitch all the ideas that the manager has for everybody, for me in particular, and try to deliver that confidence that he that he has in, in, in me, obviously. And if you score at Old Trafford on Sunday, would you celebrate? I just answered that question that I don't know. I don't know because uh, I'm now imagine the emotions that, that I could uh, have in that moment if I have the lucky to, to score over there. It's my, my, my old club with my old fans in my old stadium. Probably I, can, I cannot celebrate, but as well, it will be my first goal in my uh, comeback with, with one club that has a uh, very confidence in me uh, against my old club and against my old uh, fans and as well with my new fans. So, I don't know. I don't know. In this, in this type of games and this type of, of, of opportunities, I will, I will not uh, going to think about celebration. I'm, the only thing in my mind is to... If I have the... The chance to start or have some minutes uh, in the pitch, try to do as well as I can to try to deliver a good performance, and then, of course, obviously, I, I would I will love to score a goal and to help my team to to get a good result if I can do it with with uh, with scoring a goal, obviously. But but I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happened in that match. And Jose Mourinho was saying that if he'd been the United boss when you were there, he would never have sold you. So why did it go wrong for you, United, looking back now? I don't, know. I don't know. You can ask him, <laughs> but uh, no, I don't know. Now my mind is completely at West Ham. No, I appreciate the words that that he said in in the past months, and but right now I'm a Hammer. I'm a West Ham player. I want to do uh, even better than that I did it in, in in Manchester, and then we'll see. We'll see what happens in this season. Just finally, for me, what do you think West Ham can achieve this year in the Premier League? The European spots. That's the main goal for for everybody. Um, Javier, you, spoke, you said in an interview last year you spoke to Sir Alex Ferguson. I was just wondering if you spoke to him before you moved to West Ham. No, no, I didn't. No. no. Do you think he'll text you and wish you luck to score on Sunday? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if he if he do it or not. Or hopefully, I can I can see him if he goes to to, to watch the game. You haven't scored against Joe Hart. What's he been like in training? Very good. A very good uh, player. I I heard about uh, about him a lot uh, with other players that they that they play with him that. He's, he's a great lad. He's a very professional player. He always gives 100% in the training grounds. I can tell you that I've been like almost two weeks training with him. So yeah, that's why he's he's been in the national team for so long time. He's been in a top club like Manchester City, winning Premier Leagues, playing Champions League. So it's not only coincidence or luck what what he's been doing for for this uh, sport in England. You've 
maybe some great goalkeepers, David De Gea, mm. Michael Casillas. How does he compare to them? Is he on their level? Yeah, of course, definitely. And in terms of your move from Manchester United, do you have any regrets leaving the Premier League? Regrets leaving? No, I never had regrets in my life because good things or the things that they are not uh, as good as we as we think uh, or those experiences are only that the experience there's something that, that that you learn and that gives you a lot of of things to to look forward for the future and your present okay. Christian Javier, estamos en vivo eh, con Fox Sports Radio yes bien bien gracias David Javier, ¿cómo estás? 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 Javier, ¿cómo estás?